Hey everybody and welcome to another Trucking News Update from the Garage. Today the news is coming out of Dearborn, Michigan from Ford who just introduced a brand new mid-size off-road pickup. Meet the Ranger Tremor. Ford has taken its FX4 package for the Ranger and really stepped it up a notch to make sure that this truck can now compete with the Chevy Colorado ZR2, Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro, and of course the Jeep Gladiator. Now let's get straight to the goods. If you check the option box for the Tremor package here on the Ranger, you're going to be getting a lifted suspension, 32 inch general grabber tires riding on 17 inch wheels, a locking rear differential, skid plates, and Fox 2.0 mono tube dampers with remote reservoirs and hydraulic rebound bump stop. All of that gear combines to bring the Tremor a total ground clearance of 9.7 inches, an approach angle of 30.9 degrees, departure of 25.5, and a breakover of 24.2. Comparing those numbers to the standard Ranger, the Tremor has about an extra inch of ground clearance and it gets about two degrees better in the approach and breakover angle department. Spring tuning all the way around has also been changed up to make sure the suspension here is going to soak up everything off-road and Ford says that wheel travel has been increased in the front and the rear. Unlike that big Ford F-150 Raptor, the brand is not giving this Tremor package a special power plant. It makes do with the standard Ranger engine, which is a 2.3 liter EcoBoost turbocharged four cylinder, putting out 270 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque sent through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Coming standard in the Tremor as well is both trail control and terrain management. Now these are available on the stock FX4 model, but now they're being brought up into the Tremor. The trail control system is a essentially off-road cruise control. It will handle your acceleration and your braking. You just focus on the wheel. And then terrain management are all those different drive modes which focus on different terrain. So you'll have one mode for mud, rocks, sand, etc. Another pretty cool upgrade on this Tremor is a bank of auxiliary switches. That means if you want to fit any accessory that uses power, whether it be a winch, a light bar, heck, maybe even a fridge, you can wire those things up directly into your auxiliary switch bank, which has already been added into the truck. That is definitely a handy feature, especially when you consider that Ford offers over 200 accessories for the Ranger straight from the dealership. So if you combine Ford's existing accessories with these new switches, you can dress up your Ranger pretty cool straight from your dealer. Now to tell the Tremor apart, there is some different styling here. This truck gets a magnetic painted grill surround. It gets those red nostril accents. And then you can see it on this truck here. Uh, there is optional badging and body and hood graphics. You don't have to get those graphics though. Then when you move inside, you're getting a Myco suede seat inserts with Tremor stitching right on the seats. Plus two recovery hooks have been added at the rear end of this truck to complement the two that already came in the front. So there's a few small things that are going to let you know that this is the Tremor model. Not least of which is the Tremor badge right up there on the rear quarter panel. If you're interested in a Tremor, you have to get a Ranger Super Crew 4x4 as either an XLT or a Lariat trimmed model. You can't get a base Ranger with the Tremor package. Now in the United States, going for this Tremor package is going to cost you $4,290. So now that you know everything about this new Tremor, let's talk about exactly how it stacks up to the competition. So looking at numbers, the Tremor now has more ground clearance than both the Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro and the Colorado ZR2. This truck is taller than those two. However, the Jeep Gladiator still wins the ground clearance race here with over 11 inches. 
Looking at off-road angles, the Tacoma TRD Pro still has better approach and departure. Uh, the Colorado ZR2 actually has just about the exact same approach and departure. And then the Gladiator Rubicon once again handily wins this category with over 40 degrees of approach, 26 degrees of departure. However, don't forget that Gladiator Rubicon does not have a good breakover angle at 20.3 degrees. And it's also worth mentioning now that the Jeep Gladiator and the Toyota Tacoma both use Fox shocks as well. So in this segment, everyone turned to Fox except for Chevy who uses those Multimatic DSSV dampers. Comparing power, the Ranger actually still stacks up, even though the Tremor doesn't get a special engine. So with 310 pound-feet of torque, this is the most torque you can get out of a gas engine in the segment. If you opt for the diesel, the Eco Diesel under the hood of the Gladiator, or the diesel under the hood of the Chevy Colorado, yes, you're going to get more torque. But comparing gas to gas, this is the most torque in the segment. And then at 270 horsepower, that's really not too far away from the other trucks which are making you know 285 in the Gladiator, 278 in the Tacoma and 308 in the Colorado. Finally we got to talk capability and I didn't even mention this yet for the trimmer. So this Ranger can tow 7,500 pounds making it the best at towing in the midsize off-road segment. The Gladiator only does 7,000, the TRD Pro 6,400, the ZR2 only 5,000. And then when we're talking payload, this Ford Ranger trimmer can get up to 1,430 pounds of payload. Once again, outclassing the competition actually by a couple couple hundred pounds. So when you're looking at capability, this Ranger really does stack up well. The Ranger FX4 straight out of the box already was actually a pretty good off-road truck, but it still wasn't quite at the level of the ZR2, TRD Pro, and Gladiator, Rubicon, and Mojave. But now Ford is making sure that the Ranger competes with that top echelon of mid-size pickups. Now, this truck is going to be built at the Michigan Assembly Plant, and it's gonna enter production starting in early 2021. So sometime early next year, we'll get our hands on a Ranger Tremor and we will put it to the test to see if it actually stacks up. On paper, it's looking real good, but we got to get it out there in the real world. So everybody, that is it for this news video. Why don't you go below, let me know what you think of this Ford Ranger Tremor. Does it look like a ZR2 killer? And leave that comment, make sure you hit like, hit that subscribe button, and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we are testing next. See ya.